Whew. So today I'm going to be installing a new Rainbird um, wireless. I'll show that to you. But I just wanted to explain the good witches here. I wasn't going to have her come over, but I decided we'd cut the back because it just it looks great. But it needed to be cut. So uh, I want to explain what I mean by a fairway cut. And this is not for everyone, but if you have to have a real mower to do this. So let's see if she can do this or not. <laughs> roll them, roll them right here. Oh, she's short. Right to this hand. <laughs> Roll. Let's take the gloves off and see if that helps any. Short again. So this is what I mean by a fairway cut. The ball sits up right up on top of it. It doesn't sink into it and it rolls right across the fairway. So that's a fairway cut right there. Right about half an inch. Even if you push the ball down, that's as deep as it goes. Hey guys, so um, let me just sort of brief you on this. I had this old controller from Rainbird. I had it in a box, I don't know for how long like two years up on a shelf. So when we installed, when we installed this, um, this old system, I went ahead and just put this up because I mainly was just running this manually. But now I'm finding that uh, I really want some more Wi-Fi control. Uh, by the way, if you hear a bunch of, either I have my fan going because it's hot as hell in here. Uh, so I ordered, I'll put a link to this controller, this, um, this Rainbird, which is a Wi-Fi controller. And the reason why I got this one, I have a Ratio up in the garage. And the reason that I don't like my Ratio is that I can't, four or five times last year, either their server was down or my Wi-Fi was weird, and I couldn't turn on my sprinkler system. You have to have an app on your phone and you have to be able to update it. Sometimes it'll make you update. And you're like, dude, I don't want to update. I just want to turn my sprinkler on. Um, or their server's down or whatever. So the nice thing about this system is you have three options. Uh, come back here, run it manually with no Wi-Fi. You can run it via Bluetooth on your phone, which, not, which Ratio will not do. You have to have Wi-Fi for Ratio to work or you can run it Wi-Fi. So I can be in California and turn my system on in Georgia, it doesn't matter. Those are the three options I really, really spent a lot of time researching. I had to have all three of those options because this thing back in the shed doesn't get a real strong Wi-Fi signal. So there are some times I can just step outside and hit it with my phone and go Bluetooth with it. Or just come back here, if I want to water the green, I can just step back here, manually water the green, whatever. So. These things are really easy to, to uninstall and install. Basically what you have is you have a controller board and there's only one white wire that goes in here that's a controller wire. So what you do is you come out, and I'll show you what I did exactly. You take a picture of your current of the way your system is set up, one, two, three, four, five, and that way you don't have to number your wires. So I just took a picture, I disconnected all my wires, um, for me, there was just one screw here that I had to undo, plus a hook screw on the back. I used the same hook screw, put it through here. I'm going to show you my wiring setup now. So basically, all these things are the same. Every single system will usually just have one wire. Now, if you have a master control valve, this is labeled, so this is C for controller. This is labeled M for master valve. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you just put all your stations in there, and that's it. Plug it in, turn it on, adjust your date, and then hit that and you'll pair up your Wi-Fi. Uh, and then you can go through and you can do all of your scheduling. Yes, you can use seasonal adjustments. There's, these things are so complex nowadays. 
as far as the watering schedules and adjustments. And to be honest, I don't use them. Um, all I do is I know when I want to water, and so I put up a schedule and I hit run on that schedule, and that's it. I, I never use a set schedule. I never have a schedule on my water system. I know exactly when I need to water and how long I'm going to water for. So anyways, I'll put a link to this one, but the real important feature about this versus a lot of the other controllers <clears throat> is you can run this manually. You can go to this box and run it manually any way that you want, number one. Number two, you can do it via Bluetooth. You don't have to have a Wi-Fi. You can control it through your phone. And number three, you can also do it through Wi-Fi. That's why I got this unit. Um, but it's real easy to set up. Okay, so I'm gonna do this live with you. What the heck? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click, I uh, just installed the Rainbird. I just installed the Rainbird app. So tap to add a new controller. Add controller. Which one do I have? Open the mobile device settings app, go to Wi-Fi settings and verify the Wi-Fi is turned on. Connect to the network. After you have joined this network, return to the Rainbird app. So I go over to settings, go over to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and there's the Rainbird. What do you want to name this controller? Uh, let's give it something funny. Let's call it Shithole. Shithole. Done. Next. Okay, so here's one of the big things that I like about this. You just hit the water drop down here. And now I have four zones, so I want to go here. I want to run it for one minute. Zone here, one minute. Zone here, one minute. Zone here, one minute. And I'm done. Start custom water. So now we should see some water going on. I'm just going to let all four stations run for one minute. Close this door and just to check them out and that should be good. I'm about to get wet though. Watch her, ready? Uh oh, she's gonna get, she thinks she's gonna get wet. She thinks she's gonna get wet. <laughs> Poor thing, come over here, baby. Come here, come on, hurry up, come here, come here. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> you are such a little pussy. She starts screaming if she gets wet. <laughs> Zone four is my golf green corner. Looking good. Man, it is pouring out here. <laughs> this is the only time you get to come out here because you won't run away in the garage. <laughs> it's a Gordon Speakerman. Had a really good catch. Fresh card here today. Feeling some fresh card. <laughs> Holy crap. So we were just out here shooting. I think you can see where the golf ball. Still golf balls in the yard. And I wanted rain, but not three inches in 20 minutes. It's still thundering out here. I better get out of here. Holy cow. This was like a river. This was like a river running through here. Three inches in 20 minutes, just about. How do I know that? Because that bucket was empty before it started raining. And it's got almost three inches in it. So I had to run back here. Dig an emergency trench back under my fence because it was starting to flood. Then I had to go behind the fence and dig another channel so that water could drain out. I'm getting in the shed. Holy crap. <laughs> oh man. You know what else you can tell? My pool. Um, I needed today to add some water to it because it was about three inches below the skin line and right now it's at the perfect skin line. 
So that's three inches. I mean, this is 20 minutes. I just, I don't know what the green is going to look like after this. <laughs> so much for the uh, irrigation installation video. Anyways, guys, uh, I think it's real important to understand on your irrigation system. Almost all these newer Wi-Fi systems have weather smart systems, um, seasonal adjustments, uh, they tie into the weather forecast. You can do all that kind of stuff with almost all these. But the important understanding is, is how does that work? As an example, my ratio is in the garage and if the power goes out, if, my, if they're updating their servers or if something's wrong with my Wi-Fi, I can't run my system. So I just, for me personally, I thought it was real important to be able to have that. I wanted the ability to just walk up to the controller and run it manually or use my phone and use my phone without having to have Wi-Fi there. So uh, I'll put a link below. I forget the cost of it. It's really not that expensive. These things are pretty cheap now. Again, this is up to an eight station controller. Um, and the install and app is all self-explanatory. It's pretty easy. Again, I have pretty weak Wi-Fi at um, down by the shed. I did buy a little extender and I plugged it in inside the kitchen and now it reaches it fine. And the extender was like 40 bucks. So I know everyone's gonna say, mesh network, mesh network. I get it, dude. I'm just not me. Anyways, I gotta go fix all this crap from the storm. We'll talk to you later. Hit subscribe. There or there. Talk to you later. Bye.